I want to show you one of the neatest features of FM Chat, and it's how it can talk to other FileMaker solutions that you may have. So this is the uh, event management uh, example that ships with FileMaker, and we've just created a little script in it. Um, we've made this simple script here, add guest, that takes a guest's uh, name as a parameter. Um, so what I want to do is I want to invite a bunch of people to this meeting and then get them to say whether they're coming or not, but I don't want to have to go to this portal and put in everybody's name, and I certainly don't want to ask them to do it. So I want to use FM Chat to send that request out and gather their responses back. Um, so here's what it looks like. I'm going to take, uh, I've opened FM Chat and I've logged in as Frank Miller. He's the guy who's organizing this event. Um, so I'm going to start a chat. I've got a bunch of people online here, but I'm going to invite a bunch of them and say start chat. And I'm recording this from the hotel in Miami Beach, so the Wi-Fi here is a little spotty, but it takes a minute to start chats. Once they're going, they're, they're very fast. All right, so stat chart by F. Miller. And let's see, um, let's see what he wants to say. So um, please uh, let me know if you can make it to. And then here's our data detector, right? We teach FM chat that if I put in a certain prefix like event colon, um, anything after it um, will get passed to a script as a script parameter. So I'll say the company company meeting here, company plus meeting. Um, and watch what FM chat does with that. It turns it into a little link. And these are really easy to configure. This is not like going into our scripts or anything. It's just uh, filling out a little form. And then um, we make this link. So what does this look like to to Bob. So I'm going to close this and log in as Bob and we'll see. Um, so sign out and sign in as B, whoop, B is in boy, B Smith, B Smith. Signing in here. Okay, looks good. So, um, ah, Excellent, a new notification came in. So we have uh, notifications set up, and if I had been online, I would have got this notification right away, but the next time you sign back into FM Chat, any notifications you missed kind of come to the front, which is great. So I got this note from Fred, says, please let me know if you can make it. And so if I click on this link, watch what's gonna happen over here. So here's our portal, Fred and Jim are attending so far, and I'll come over here and just say, yeah, man, I can make, I can make it. And it shoots Bob right in there, and if I want to make any comments or something, I could do it. So. You know, we could have changed that script so that it runs headless. We could have had a button here that says, hey, invite people so you don't even have to make the chat yourself. Um, but the idea is, is that if you configure data detectors in FM Chat, we run scripts in your solution. So FM Chat is both a, a, a chat engine, right? I can chat with people. It's the ostensible feature. But it's also messaging and workflow for FileMaker Server. And just let me show you how easy it is to uh, configure those data detectors. If you go to admin setup, here they are, you can see we've put a bunch of them in. But basically all you do is you say, hey, what's the prefix you wanna register? And then when that's done, what do you wanna use as a link? And in this case, I wanna run a script in the event management file, and the script is called add guest, and I just pass in that parameter. And that's all there is to it. You can see we have examples for doing data detectors that approve or deny purchase orders. Um, it's pretty interesting stuff. So uh, I hope you like it, and dive into FM Chat. And if you want a detailed version of uh, walking through this and how to how to create that exact uh, data detector. If you uh, go to the FM Chat homepage here down at the bottom, you'll see this little link, um, tutorial on scriptable links data detectors. That'll walk you through this event management example. Um, enjoy.